Hello, hello. You are muted, Mr. Demi. Hello, can you hear me? <laughs> there you go. What's going on, everybody? You fully awake? Uh, no, I'd be lying if I said I was. Uh, not going to lie. How is everybody? We got uh, Andrea on the on the on the webinar. We got Daniel Gray. We got Davidas, Edit, Fiona, Jan. Loads of people in. So um, good to have you with us. And we know there's going to be quite a few of you watching the replay as well. Um, Andy, how you doing, mate? I'm doing well, mate. I'm doing very well. I am looking for, forward to my day off tomorrow. Um, <laughs> I wish I was doing my usual thing and just booking a last minute flight to Vegas. That's not happening. It's uh, Kent. It's not quite Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> but Sorry uh, to anybody that lives we are, in Kent. We are where we are. Know, you know what he means by that, though, don't you, if you live in Kent? So... Uh... <laughs> uh yeah i miss those days mate where it was like what should we do tomorrow let's book, let's go vegas and it was like done <laughs> but nice it. nice where did you where did you normally stay when you go to vegas well i've been about eight or nine times oh um, wow stayed most places yeah I'm a, i was a regular uh the aria was one of my favorite yeah. hotels nice uh, the win um yeah. the um what's the the one with the fountain bellagio yes bellagio yeah, yeah. fountains yeah that was nice um i've stayed in a few um well the, when oh. i when i first started going actually to be fair i stayed in one of the cheaper ones the mgm but that was still good it was with the boys anywhere on the strip as long as it's on the strip right yeah, yeah it was um... great we still enjoyed it it was still great <laughs> so yeah exactly that. that yeah I i've got that. some funny I've got some funny stories about Vegas, but obviously that is the mecca of gambling. So you would imagine that there's a, a big crossover between people that gamble and probably a high percentage of them that go to casinos, they've probably tried their hand at trading, right? I would imagine there's a big crossover. Yeah, I think um, especially poker players. So I used to play a lot and that was really my, the, the game which I took seriously, like everything else is just, you know, a bit of fun, not expecting to win if you win, great. But if I play poker, I will, I will play to win. You know, I'm not, I'm not, even though they give you free drinks, um, I, don't take, <laughs> I don't take the free drinks. I, uh, I'm there seriously to win. Um, but, and then you get to chat to the people, that's how you do, you just make friends there. And uh, yeah, I, that that's very true. There's, there's definitely a, a lot of interest from poker players in trading financial markets. Um, I met a lot of traders. Playing. So did you ever did you ever go to Vegas before you became a trader, or was this all after? Um, no, I didn't. To be honest, um, probably yeah, I did go before I became a good trader probably like yeah yeah but uh but i was into trade i knew a lot about trading even then so i approached it with that kind of mindset you know the uh, uh the odds basically and then the biggest thing is is the bluff as well i think it's that's an important which is psychology you know psychology mm -hmm. it's like the great thing about poker which is a little bit different to the markets is that it's your psychology versus somebody else's. That's great. Whereas the markets are, is your psychology against the market. And well, actually in essence, then it's just about your psychology, right? Really, because you can't, com you can't compete with the market. So it's just yourself. Whereas an individual, you can influence them. And you know, like when you see people that are weak, you know, you talk, that's that's part of the game. You, you target those people and that's how you beat them. It's all psychology. It doesn't matter what hand you get. And, you know, I've seen players that are super aggressive playing on the worst hands, but because they're so confident, it, it throws the other players. So, but anyway, I don't want to and, talk about poker all night. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you're wondering, you are here for the poker webinar with uh, world champion mr i'd Andy love Devin. that mate we used to do them all the time in the on the floors so we used to go, go and do little tournaments so one thing that i wanted to ask is because there'll be a lot of people watching this 
and they're at the beginning, like where you were before you've kind of cracked the code. What's the big difference between thinking back to when you were all those years ago when you didn't really know what you know now? So like, what's the big difference between like a retail trader and something, I know you're gonna go into this in the presentation, but the difference between like a, the, the mindset of a retail trader and the difference between like having worked in, um, on trading floors in investment banks and worked for hedge funds and traded massive amounts of money and also trained a team of junior hedge fund traders to be successful. What's the big, biggest differences between, between a retail trader mindset and a, a successful trader mindset that does yeah, it for you're, a living? You're, you're right. I, am, I mean, I'm going to be covering this um, partly in tonight's presentation, but um, in simple terms, it's night and day, the difference. Like the, the mindset the there's a there's a there's a persona of a of a good trader there's like a, a blueprint of a good trader it doesn't mean we trade so you could have different types of traders like if you imagine like a bucket of good traders like there's your scalpers your swing traders your range traders your fade traders that part doesn't isn't the isn't the defining thing the defining thing is actually how they think how they react and um yeah how they think and how they react is is actually and how they think really links to everything so it's like calmness discipline uh, little fear very little fear that nothing will is going to harm them and i think when you take that into the markets you could be a if you're a scalper then you're a fast-paced guy if you're an end of day swing trader you're a slow paced guy but you are still that that personality the heartbeat of that trader and that's really the key difference but yeah we'll we'll get started and i'll i'll, I'll kind of got a lot to cover tonight anyway uh, but that's but yeah in, in summary that's kind of it that makes awesome sense. well look, let's let's get started um more we've given some time for more people to come in um and i know that you're really excited about what um what we're going to be offering and the new things that we've got coming to the london trading institute so yeah i'll let you take it away and i'll jump yeah. back on i'm at the end to go no through worries. any questions guys if you've got any questions obviously for all of those on the live if you've got any questions just save them to the end um and then type them out um uh, if it's something super urgent i will be checking uh the the q a section and the chat section but we won't interrupt uh the flow of things until the end so we'll make sure to get your questions answered. So make sure to stick around um, and yeah, we'll go through them at the end of Brilliant. the presentation. All right, Brilliant. mate, if you're ready to get started. Yeah, get yeah, going. I'm gonna turn off the video and because sometimes it will block the presentation and then um, I'm gonna get going. If you could just um, allow me to share, cause I think you started this so, uh, Uh, share screen, starting share screen will stop other participants' computer sound shared. That's fine. Uh, that's absolutely fine. Okay. Um, let me know, guys, if you can see the presentation. Everybody see that? Gavin, can you see it? Yeah, okay, brilliant. Awesome. Fantastic. Okay. So guys, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be spending the next sort of 60 minutes uh, breaking down um, various different things, but essentially, you know, how I kind of came about, you know, from, from pretty much a zero position, not knowing much about financial markets at all to actually going from earning 200 pounds a month to $123,380 in one trade and how I basically got onto the hedge fund floors and got to work for some of the biggest investment banks in the world. So I'm going to be focusing today on my rule-based blueprint for FX trading, which is where I've basically built my experience. The majority of my knowledge and experience has been in the FX markets. I am experienced in other markets. I have traded pretty much everything going. 
you know, whether it's cattle, whether it's uh, lean hogs, whether it's soybeans, whether it's the S&P 500, whether it's stocks, penny stocks, FX, crypto, of course, you name it, I've traded it. However, the majority of my career where I've seen the success has been in FX trading. And this is what I was trading when I got my biggest position, which you'll find out about uh, working for a London hedge fund. And this is where I got my experience in the banking world and where I learned my craft. So with that being said, guys, let's get started. As Gavin said, we will leave questions until the end. We've got some really exciting things to share with you this evening. And hopefully you guys will get some value. And um, yeah, let's go. So what I want to be sh sharing with you this evening is my system that I've used to make over $1.5 million in one day. That was during the, my time working for an institution, which we'll find out about. Um, you're going to understand the exact criteria that I use to uncover my FX trading opportunities and how to develop your edge and apply the right strategy at the right time to maximize your returns. So as I said, um, why listen to me? Well, I've traded for, for some of the biggest banks in the world and hedge funds in London, including JP Morgan, Schroders and Barclays Capital. Now, for those that are new to the industry, it's very difficult to get into these kind of places and you need to be doing extremely well. So it wasn't easy. It wasn't an easy journey, but that's where I eventually got to. I've previously managed a $200 million trading account for a hedge fund in London that also included managing various other traders. So I was the, the head trader with one other person of that floor. I am regularly interviewed on British television financial programs and also at investor shows for my views on the markets. I also lecture at Middlesex University uh, once a year for their degree in finance. So we love to uh, give back. We do also have other partnerships with other universities, but this one is a stronger partnership because it goes towards their financial module. So it actually helps them get uh, a degree. And it's been very, very popular and a great thing for them to put on their CVs as well, that they've basically learned financial trading at university. I am also the co-founder of the London Trading Institute. So let's um, now this is what uh, Gavin and I are pretty excited about. Um, we've we love to think and create something exciting like we, we love to create something that um, people can get excited about that's going to help others you know it's part of our mission you know when we do things we don't do it for any other reason apart from achieving our mission and that is to help you know as many people succeed in the financial markets and to really change their lives for the better you know, to, to have a different way of doing things rather than having a stressful job. And so at the end, we're going to share with you an opportunity that we're currently just opening up to 20 people because um, we want to do this as a trial run. And we are looking to give 20 people $50,000. And what's important to note here, guys, is that you will not have to pass any trading assessment. So this is not like um, the trading challenges that you may be aware of. This is actually, we are looking to give 20 people 50K to trade with. And I'll give you some more information at the end. So hopefully you're excited about that and, and, and we'll, we'll share the details of what we're looking for. Now, before we get into the presentation, you know, I do always want to start with sharing with you that you know, things weren't always easy for me. And I'm certainly nobody special when it comes to succeeding in the financial markets. The reality is the main reason why I had a lot of success is not because I was naturally gifted, but in fact, I just persevered and I and I failed at trading for many years before I finally found success. So if you keep failing, you can eventually learn the right way. And I was very fortunate as well to get a lot of great support 
and found the right mentor. So when I was failing, you know, the biggest thing that I didn't understand is that there is a blueprint to success. You know, there isn't just a, um, you know, it's kind of what we were saying at the beginning, if you were here, um, it is a way of being like, and it almost like you need to imprint that blueprint into your brain. And that's part of this process. You know, part of the process is attending events like this. You know, when you could be doing something else, you're here with us trying to learn a new skill, something that's going to help improve you. And, you know, that is really testament to you, you know, and part of that journey is learning what works and what doesn't work and what's going to work for you. And that's what we refer to as the blueprint. So back then I didn't have a plan. And what that meant was I had it, I was good at market analysis, but I wasn't consistent. In fact, I was very inconsistent and I didn't know why I made a profit on, or I couldn't repeat, you know, my success, you know, so if I had a few winning trades, I didn't have the skills or the knowledge to go and repeat what I did. So in other words, you know, I was kind of shooting in the dark. So like if it was my lucky day and I'd make money, great. I think I was amazing. And then other days, not so much. And, and really, I just didn't have the confidence of, um, you know, of, of what a successful trader should be. And, you know, you can see there my baby face. I That's me clean shaven. For those that have only met me over the last few years, they probably never seen me clean shaven. Uh, it doesn't really happen. Um, you know, but this is me on the trading floors, my first position, my first proper position at Citibank um, in Moorgate. And this was basically in 2004. And, you know, I basically found my mentor here, um, who taught me how to trade like the bank. So exactly how they thought, the games that they played. And by the way, there are a lot of games, but it's just about knowing the rules. Once you know the rules, it's a little bit like what we were talking about off air before we got on to the presentation about poker, where, you know, it's kind of, you know, bluffing. And that's what banks do. They bluff a lot. Oh, it's going up. Nope, it's going back down. And so you just need to understand when that's happening. And you need to basically mirror what the banks are doing. And that's kind of essentially what I do. So from here, I went on to make my first six figure trade in FX, and I made $123,380. That was really the first sign. And actually not just the first sign, a really important signal to my brain, especially to my subconscious that this is real, right? That money wasn't all going in my pocket, of course, you know, I was earning good commissions. But the most important thing is that I did that. I made that money. And I was like, wow, that is a crazy amount of money. Like I've never made that, that kind of money before. And it started to think, wow, this is like, this is like magic, right? This is like, a, this is a gold mine. And until you have those little moments, it's like the first time maybe you make a hundred pounds or the first time you make a thousand or the first time you make 10,000, something new happens to your subconscious. Think, wow, this is really possible. And that's kind of, I really think that was a, pivotal moment for me and then I experienced my my first seven figure day netting just over 1.5 million and again that really reinforced my belief system about you know what could be achieved by trading uh, the FX markets now at this stage guys everything was pretty much perfect um, but you know we were going out we were enjoying ourselves um, I was making a lot of money however it really wasn't sustainable. Um, I was working a lot of hours. I had basically nonstop thinking about the markets. Even on the weekends, my brain was on the markets. Even when we were out for drinks, my brain was on the markets. And after a bit, it becomes exhausting um, and pretty much not sustainable. So I wanted to try a different way. Um, you know, I learned a lot. And I felt like I could, you know, make it on my own. You know, I could move away from the institution. So I basically packed it in and I decided that, look, if it goes wrong, I can get a job again back on the floors. So that's what I did. I left and I basically 
uh, funded an account and started to trade. That's literally what I did. And I was, um, I was still at this stage, you know, I was still relatively, relatively new to trading. I mean, of course I've got some great experience, but I was a little bit naive. You know, I underestimated um, a lot of what I'd learned and the environment that I had. You know, a big part of what we try and do here at the London Trading Institute is create an, an online environment. So if you're part of our free group or private group, what you like, what you'll probably see is we try and create this kind of, um, you know, positive environment. And, you know, and that's really what I had, you know, but physically here. And by going it alone without that environment, without that network, you know, social media wasn't really anything then. It was really, um, you know, very naive. Um, but it did start off well. And I started off by turning 250K into 400K in two months. But basically, um, I got greedy, overconfident, and I blew it all. I blew everything. Um, and it was literally the lowest point at that point in my life that I'd ever experienced because I literally thought I, you know, almost like my life was over. I was like, how am I going to recover from this? The shame of it. How have I let this happen? Uh, but it did. But here's the thing, you know, we can let disappointment uh, rule our life or we can let it lead us to a better path. And that's what I did. I, I, I basically made the decision that this was going to be the best lesson ever. And it's going to make me more money if I learn from it. And genuinely speaking, that experience there is what made me a trader. Now, I don't want you guys to learn that way. I don't want you guys to go and lose all your money. Um, and that's why we, we educate people and we mentor people and we guide people because you can learn from other people's experiences to avoid the things that happened to me and, and to other people other traders if you have anybody's ever read the book market wizards um, there's quite a few market wizards out there recommend the books they're great but pretty much most stories are, are, are like you know people that lost lost it all and then made it big uh, it's just the way it goes so that's the reality guys like if you speak with enough traders most people have had some kind of disaster you know and obviously i was no different um, I did all the mistakes. I got greedy, overconfident. Um, everything pretty much that a trader could do, I pretty much did it. And, you know, that's, as I said, is the, is the main sort of reason why I'm able to be a much better trader today and a better mentor because I've learned from good and bad times. And realistically, for me, having a mentor I could go to I think definitely saved my career as a trader, even though I was somebody very determined, it was great to have that, that person there that can just basically guide me and say, look, you know, it's absolutely fine. So, you know, and, and, and give me the right path to kind of move on. So he, le he helped me learn from my mistakes and to get the right mindset and discipline to make consistent profits over the long term. And if you fast forward a few years after this big setback, this is where I was headhunted for a position to manage a $200 million trading account and a team of professional traders for a London hedge fund. You know, if just, just to kind of really be honest with you, at that point, it was very daunting for me to accept that position. But I'm somebody who generally will throw their hat over the fence and then find a way to get it. And that's really what I did. You know, when, when they asked me, look, how, how confident would you feel to manage this account? In my head, I'm like thinking, holy moly, I don't know if I can do that. But outside, I was super confident and I said, I absolutely can do it, but I just need, um, I need some time to consider your, your offer, your proposal. So what I wanted to show them is that, look, I can definitely do it, but I also wanted to go away and, you know, really think about how I was going to do it so that I wasn't going to take on something that wasn't going to work. So anyway, I took the position and in my mind, I knew I felt like I'd made it back. And probably what I was going to be doing for the rest of my career is staying in the institutional world. But as you know, because we're here today, that's not what happened. Um, but that's, a, you know, we'll get to that. 
you know, and, and essentially what, what actually happened to me and what actually instigated, um, you know, the, the path to mentoring was that I was asked to teach junior traders whilst working at the banks and at the hedge funds. And, you know, although I was very resistant at that time, especially because I had that setback, I decided that, you know, at that time, I felt like I wanted to just focus on myself. I wanted to just make money for myself and my family. But I knew that somebody had helped me, especially when, when I was feeling really, really low. So I decided to go for it. And I said, yes. And I absolutely loved it. And, and for those that have had any coaching from me or have any mentoring from me, you'll know it's natural for me to, I love coach. I love pushing people to get to, especially people that really want to move in the, in the right direction and are willing to take criticism and that are willing to learn. You know, I love working with, with people and, and really it started from here. I didn't realize how much I'd enjoy it until I saw the juniors, you know, transform their careers, you know, right in front of me, guys that were going to get the sack literally um, started to make continuous money when they understood, you know, the right way of doing things. And that's why I started the London Trading Institute. Now, this is a brief overview of the lifestyle that I live. Um, you know, for me, there are certain things I, I, I really believe in vision boards, guys, if you don't have one, you should create one um, and you'll find a way. But everything that I had on my vision board, really, I did and I'm doing. And, and every day I add to it. You know, I live in my dream house. I drive my dream car. I travel the world with my family. Obviously, um, lockdown has, you know, affected that a little bit. But we're planning a really amazing trip next year. You know, I married my soulmate. You know, the lady that got me into trading, that bought my first ever course when I zero, when I literally had zero money. Um, I've got three beautiful daughters. For those that know me, you'll know I've had a daughter, um, a new daughter, a new baby into the family about uh, three weeks ago. Um, so interesting times, you know, not much sleep at the moment, but it's uh, all fun. Um, I get to contribute and make a difference to those that need it most. And I've got my time back. I get to choose when I work and when I don't, but most importantly, what I work on and who I work with. And that's important to me because I like to work with good people and I like to help um, in whatever way I can because I feel like I've had a lot of fortune um, in my life. So, you know, this is a little glimpse of my trading results. Um, you know, I've been doing this for a long time, but these are my personal trades that I take, you know, um, I post in the groups, I post in, I post videos so you can understand why I take the trade, which is important. But this, these are the kind of, you know, before I was making a lot more money, but I was making a lot more money working a lot more hours. You know, these trades, this is a one trade, just over 13 grand, um, another trade just over 10 grand. And these are trades that are not taking me long to find their risk managed. Um, and, you know, they're, these are happening in one or two days sometimes, which is, you know, for most people would be life changing. And this is some more of my posts. Um, you know, I think crypto has probably taken us over a little bit in the group recently because, you know, there's been some great opportunities there, but don't, don't mistake the opportunities in FX. You know, for me, FX is still the number one go-to for, you know, it's got history in its in its favor. You know, it, it's been around for a very long time. The strategies that I use work really, really effectively still. And you can trust, um, you can trust that, you know, you can find your edge, you know, trading FX markets. And it's not difficult. Um, in fact, you know, for beginners, I, I actually personally think it's a much easier market to trade than, than cryptos because cryptos is very volatile. But I love both, you know, and, um, you know, it's hard to, uh, to differentiate and you can do both, which is what I do now. So for the rest of the presentation, guys, um, I'm going to be sharing with you the $5 trillion FX opportunity that there is for you and my four step approach to, um, use FX as a vehicle to financial freedom, to live your life on your terms. So, you might be wondering, can this work for me if I'm a complete beginner with no experience whatsoever? 
the simple answer is 100% yes. This is a picture when we were in our city trading floors uh, with our students here. Um, these guys were all beginners and these guys are doing amazingly well. Um, this was our last, well, it was not all of us there, but this was the last group um, in-house just before um, lockdown. And, um, you know, there's people there that are now living a great lifestyle in Brazil, in Jamaica. Um, there's, you'll see in a minute, I'll share, I'll share with you some of their stories, what they're doing now, um, you know, trading multiple six figure accounts and so on. So the amazing thing is, is that my process is scalable and repeatable and can be modeled by anyone like Thomas Hoyle here, who was a great example of what can be achieved. You know, he had no financial knowledge. He came from a uh, from the from the army, and um, you know, he became a friend. Actually, I haven't spoken to Tom for a little while, but you know, he's now consistently making five percent a month, um, and he's a conservative guy. It's all about risk management, and he's still doing five percent a month. Um, you know, after completing our program. Now, the other thing you might be wondering is how much money do you need to start trading? Well, you can start from as little as $500, but there are ways to get funded, as you may be aware, by investors with no risk to yourself and no experience needed. Now, John Callaghan is a good example of this. You know, when he started out, he was actually doing a demo account. Then he was, um, then he put $500 into an account uh, just to practice, to get used to trading real money. And eventually he decided that, you know, he wanted to trade a bigger size and, um, you know, he was making $10,000 a month um, on his personal account and is also now trading a six figure funded account. So um, that's a good example of what can be achieved even with, you know, humble beginnings. Or Nikita, um, a real success story, Nikita. She was actually one of those that you saw in the picture, the little one. Um, really, really good. Um, I remember when I first spoke to Nikita, she really wasn't sure whether she could handle it, whether she could do it. A lot of negativity from her family. Um, she came on our program. She is now managing 100K funded account. Um, this is not actually one of the um, accounts that you're thinking of. It's not from a trading challenge. This is based on uh, an investment, an external investment based on the track record that she built with us on, on a smaller account. And she was up 26K in her first two months um, of trading. And, um, you know, again, started off with a really small account and, um, you know, doing extremely well. So guys, today, hopefully that gets you excited. Here's what we're going to talk about. Uh, my four step approach to consistent profits over a decade and that my students have also followed to get similar results. So step one, we're going to be talking about your personality traits. Step two, we're going to be creating a rule based system. Step three, we're going to be talking about understanding metrics and the importance of your metrics. And this is going to allow you to scale because it will build confidence. And we're going to also be speaking about leverage, which is an important part of growing any account. So personality traits, maybe you've never thought about this and this is gonna be kind of eye-opening for you. But one of the things that I experienced from the beginning, like I'm pretty shrewd I'd like to think and you know, it's, it's pretty difficult to necessarily scam me, although it has happened to me once when I was traveling in uh, China, which I, was, which I still can't get over. But anyway, that's a side story, which you can ask me about. Um, but yeah, generally speaking, I'm pretty sure. And like, you know, and I was pretty good at identifying good traders, you know, and, and doing my research on them. But one thing that I found was that even when I identified a good trader and I tried to follow their trade and follow their signals, I was never able to make money, even if they were, which is, which sounds weird, right? Like how, how can that be? Well, a lot of the time um, I put it down to, your personality trait, which is what I'm going to be sharing with you now. So, you know, I tried, you know, I tried copying quite a few good traders and it just didn't quite work out. So even when they made money, I somehow didn't. So talking about personality traits is really important because um, this is what I learned on the trading floors of 
the major banks that your personality is going to influence the type of trader that you should be and if you're not that type of trader then you know if you're being asked to trade a certain way and your personality doesn't fit that then you're not going to succeed and so it's really important that we distinguish that so i've categorized your traits into four uh, sections and each one has a different approach strategy to trade in the market so if you want to succeed at trading it's important that you understand your personality strengths and weaknesses and also to build a plan around them so the four categories um, are as follows and just bear in mind you're probably going to be a mixture of more than one okay so here they are personality trait number one is a detailer personality trait number two is an exciter personality trait number three is a feeler and number four is a bottom liner so what does it mean well a detailer is somebody who is very organized analytical a non-risk taker and where security is important to them an exciter loves recognition people orientated very excitable and not into details a feeler very emotional soft-spoken slow paced wants to be everyone's friend sounds like gavin this one <laughs> uh, bottom liner what's the bottom line uh wants the bottom line gets results uh, fast paced risk taker business minded so how would it affect your trading results guys it should you know if you if you were investing in somebody you know if it was one category would you choose a feeler, very emotional, soft-spoken? Would you trust them? Um, maybe choose a detailer because being organized is important. But, you know, a bottom liner is very important, right? You know, being business-minded, wanting the bottom line. If you're trading and you don't want to make money, then I think you're in the wrong game. So, of course, this is going to have an impact on your results. So it's really important that you distinguish which traits you have because you're going to have to build a plan around those traits and once you take the test and understand which category applies to you most and you'll be surprised uh, you might think you fall into a category but you need to take the test that we offer and then you'll find out which category you know you fall the most and that's where you want to build your plan around that so that's the personality traits guys. So, you know, we'll, we'll kind of share uh, information on how to access that at the end. Step number two, create a rule-based system. Very important part. Now, if you could invest one pound and get two pounds out, how much money would you invest? Well, it's not a trick question. Um, you know, the reality is, is that if you have a rule-based approach, you, can create a system that is almost like this um, we can't say for sure uh, guarantee that you know for every x you put in you get this much out because markets can change um, volatility can change there's parameters you might need to change but in general 90 percent of the time a rule-based system a rule-based system will allow you to be able to predict your income which is something that people, you know, really rarely are able to do. So what is a rule-based approach? Well, it is the process that trading experts leverage to give themselves healthy, predictable and sustainable growth via tried and tested strategies, no matter what the market conditions. They give you absolute control over how much money you can make. They build confidence to scale up your profits without fear or loss. Uh, it allows you to predict your income in the next 30, 60 or 90 days, which is really important. And it also means your ability to grow into six figures a year goes from possible to probable. So rather than it being this pie in the sky thing, you know, you can actually plan for how you're going to get to the income goal that you want. So every trading decision should have a process to it because you cannot trade the same way in all market conditions. And it can look something like this, a simple flow chart for every type of opportunity. So deciding, you know, when the market is trending or ranging, taking you to different sections of the flow chart 
and then the tools that you're going to basically ultimately be using. So what I like to do is I like to have a very detailed plan. So my trading plan is about 70 pages long, which is basically a, a book. And then I like to break it up into summary sheets and flow charts so that it's really easy to see. And so, right, there's my, my game chart for, you know, for my fade trades, for my range trading, for my crypto, for my effects, you know, to, to make it really simple. And so when you need to make really quick decisions, it's just literally following the process. So in this chart, there are different market phases that need to be traded. So when you look at something like this, um, you cannot trade the same strategy throughout. Now, this might just look like a simple uptrend to you. However, when I plug this stuff in, you can see that we have a bullish flag. We have a channel breakout. We have an uptrend line. We have a potential double top. There, um, You cannot play the, you know, you, you essentially cannot play the same rules for a bullish flag as a double top. So each type of trade setup needs its own flowchart pattern and its own plan, essentially. So here's an example, guys, of a case study on cable. Um, the rule of three is important. So you need to have at least three reasons, what we call building the wall of confluence, to identify a key turning point in the market. So you need to have a, at least three reasons of where to buy or sell, I'm going to show you right now how to do that. So for this example, we've just taken a few of our tools from our toolbox. Trend lines, channels, support, resistance, stochastic oscillator, RSI, MACD, candle patterns, moving average, and the Fibonacci. And here we are. We have a chart of cables, so GBP against the US dollar, and it's going up. So what do I do? I've plugged in my moving average, which has recently acted as support. So if it's recently acted as support, you can see it's, it's hit the green line around here and then bounce. It may act as support again. And then I've just connected my channel line. So you can see now we have two reasons why a little bit lower from where that price is, the market may go down and then bounce up. And then I've just connected a horizontal line. You can see around 136.50, there's also a bit of support there. So that's already three reasons. So now we have the possibility to trade this. And I've actually also gone to a lower time frame and connected a hidden um, resistance line that became a support line. And so if it touches here again, this can also become a support line. So we identify a buy zone. And what we're looking for is basically a bounce higher. Now, the idea with something like this is you know, you can take it with a limit order or you can set an alert and wait for the, you know, stochastic to also go down to oversold. And that gives you an extra confluence. But because there's so many, we've got four confluences. I would be quite interested in just simply putting an alert or something like that. So that's the kind of process that you need to follow every single time um, in order to be consistent. So you need to have a set way of doing things um, and that's going to give you consistency once you know what strategy you to apply then you can prepare to scale your profits and at this stage there's no limit just think about that that's what i experienced when i first made my six figure day and my seven figure day there is no limit it's a huge market unthinkable how big it is trillion not billion or, or millions trillion dollar market so there's no limit to the income you can make. Essentially, there you set the ceiling of how much you need. And this is where it gets fun. Now, I'm going to speak a little bit here on step three about metrics, okay? Um, you can kind of follow this up and do more research, but it's important to understand your metrics. So how can we reliably predict an income of 2K, 5K, or even 10K per month? You've got to learn your metrics. Okay, and then reverse engineer your results. So you can get these by running a free report on your MT4 or any back testing kind of software. So if you run something on MT4, this is the kind of thing that will come up. So after you've done a little bit of trading, you can start to identify, you know, well, how many trades do I win? What's my win ratio? What's my profit factor? You know, what's my drawdown? And once you have these numbers and you have been 
getting these numbers by following rules, you now have a gold mine if your strategy is profitable, of course. So this is an example of some of the data that we've collected here. And if you see on this account, uh, this one netted um, just over $17,780. Um, and, you know, what a lot of people do is they look at that number and they think, well, you must be doing well, right? You've made just over 17 grand. But it's, you know, I, I and in fact, I've actually had people send me their track records and show me that they've made a lot of money. And then once I've looked underneath the surface, I've thought, wow, they've actually sent this to me. You know, I had a guy that sent me a track record where he had something like a 97% drawdown. He didn't even understand it. And then I looked at his account. I thought, well, okay. So he'd, he'd made a lot. He'd made quite a bit on the account, but he didn't understand the numbers. And I said to him, you nearly blew this account, didn't you? And he said, yeah, how did you know that? I said, well, because your drawdown is like 97.5%. And, um, but yeah, the, the point I'm trying to say is that you need to understand your metrics. Like the most important thing is, you know, what is your drawdown? Now, this one was a 1.61% drawdown, which is super, super low, super low. Anything less than 5% is very, very low. And so we achieved this result with a very, very low drawdown, which meant it was safe. So the kind of things that you want to learn is the profit factor, the win-loss ratio, the average winning trade versus losing trade, and your sharp ratio. Okay, these are important metrics that will allow you to scale. Once you know how often you win, how much you win when you win, and how much you lose when you lose, you're going to be able to predict by following a set rule based system you're going to be able to predict your income and if you want to go to six figures or seven figures you just need to be trading more capital but and just continuously follow your rules so as i said guys it's very important that you learn your metrics and then reverse engineer your results that's the way you can predict what your income is going to be now this is an example of um what it looks like you know on my underneath the surface of these gains. So this is where we get a bit more granular. Okay, so when you go a little bit deeper, you get a bit more experienced. You know, this is the kind of stuff that you want to be doing. So I've broken down how the $17,780 was made. Um, it, may, it was made by um, winning trades on these three currencies and these three currencies, but a losing trade on Euro dollar. And then if we actually study um, our metrics, the profit factor, a higher profit factor is a good thing. So it basically means that you're winning more than you're losing. And a higher sharp ratio is also better. So when I look across the board, I think, well, okay, the best profit factor is the Aussie against the dollar. The second best one is the Kiwi. And even the Sterling Swiss there and the dollar cat is pretty decent. But these I mean, the Aussie especially is the best one. And the best sharp ratio is, again, the Aussie and the Kiwi. So what I'm basically showing you here is it's important to know where you make the most amount of money. Now, sometimes people ask me, oh, you know, what do you think of the dollar yen? I, I normally say, well, I sometimes trade it, but I don't trade it very often. And they ask me why. You know, I got absolutely nothing against the, the 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 Japanese yen, but what I found was when I studied my charts, my journal, I wasn't making any money on the dollar yen. I was making money on others. So sometimes you might look at it and think, well, okay, that's a good profit for the month. But actually, if I just removed the dollar yen, I would have made more money. And it's not to put you off the dollar again, by the way, it's just to show you that it's important to understand where you are effective and where you're not. Okay, and it, and it does require a little bit of work. So this is, a, again, another breakdown of um, essentially um, where the biggest amount of money has come from. And, um, you know, and here, if you look at the expected payoff, which is basically the net profit divided by the total positions. This shows you the expected average gain per trade 
And so again, you can see the Aussie dollar and the dollar CAD is where the biggest opportunities are. And the Euro dollar was negative. And this also tells me how long it often takes me to, um, you know, to hit my target, you know, or to hit my stop. And you can see there, typically based on this sample, um, it takes just over two days to win a trade and to lose a trade um, on the Aussie dollar, for example. We also recommend that you break down your results by strategy. And the easiest way to do this is by using multiple accounts. Now, for most of our students, you know, starting off with one strategy makes the most sense. Master one way of doing things. So find your favorite way of doing things. So do you like swing trades that take, you know, a few days? Do you like to catch the top of a move? Fade trades, those are my favorites. So if I had to do one thing, I would do that. Find the way that you like and then focus on that. Forget everything else. Ignore everything else. That's what I would do. Master it, make money, and then start to look for other strategies. And here, um, I went a step further. Again, this is a little bit advanced, but I broke down, you know, that part, the biggest gain of was the Aussie dollar. So we made just over 14 and a half grand on the Aussie, which basically made that month. And I broke it down into strategies. So these are the different strategies. And you can see the breakout strategy was the worst performing. So it actually would have been better if I didn't take any breakout trades. And the best one was um, a CTD. So if you break it down by strategy and, um, and currency pair, you're gonna to start to accumulate absolutely life-changing data that you know, okay, I'm gonna do a CTD on the Aussie dollar because I know it pays me over and over again. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense, guys. So focus on what makes you money and scale that up and get rid of what doesn't. That's kind of the message. And finally, leverage, guys. So once you've predicted your strategy for at least 30 days, and guys, I can see that some of you guys are asking questions. Um, as I said at the beginning, guys, if you have joined us uh, late, we'll be going back and answering your questions. Gavin will be uh, making a note of them. So, um, or you can, you know, it's easier to just leave your questions until the end. So once you practice your strategy for at least 30 days and have good match to back you up, then you might want to consider going onto a live trading account. Now, I just want to add something here. I've put 30 days. Realistically, 30 days is not a lot of time, but I know people are desperate to go live. And I think it depends on how much work you do and what metrics you have. So going live um, is absolutely fine if you feel confident that you have your system set. Um, ideally, you want to back test a little bit as well before the 30 days to so get a few months of back testing as well, just to make sure that your, your strategy is effective. And many traders start with 500 to 2000 pounds. That's kind of the typical starting account that I've seen from people, uh, which is a good starting account, but you can not expect to make a living from that kind of account. Now, people have crazy expectations I expect to put two grand in an account and be making five grand a month you know it's just you know it's ludicrous it's just not going to happen and you're going to blow that money up so in reality if you're making 200 pounds a month on a two grand account then you're doing very well and that's really you know just to kind of set your expectations right and that's really what i was doing at the beginning when i started out so unless you have a lot of your own money then the next best thing is to get investment, which is what we're going to be speaking about um, at the end of this presentation, where we will give you an opportunity to potentially start with a real live trading account of 50 grand. So we've got 20 50 grand accounts available. Um, they're ready to go for the right people. Okay. And again, with no valuation on a first come first serve basis. Other people's money is a way to get to your financial goals faster. You know, most people borrow to buy a house, even if I know people that have got the cash that would still borrow the money because it just makes financial sense. Pay a small interest, use the rest of your money to grow your wealth. Um, so other people's money makes a lot of sense. But I only consider this option once you have proven that your strategy works. Of 
course, you need to be confident that you have a system because capital with the wrong person, with the wrong strategy, it's not going to make a difference. You know, if you whether you use a grand or whether you have a hundred, you know, if you haven't got the right strategy, if you haven't got the right approach, if the trader's not ready for it, then it's not going to go well. And follow the steps outlined in this presentation and you will be on your way to making a great living from FX trading. So hopefully, guys, you can already see what's possible and how quickly you can succeed once you have a proven process. And so you must master these four things if you want to have a path to success and a way to build wealth for yourself through trading. The reality is, guys, we've been trained to believe that we, you have to work really hard, do the hours in order to get remunerated. And, and that was kind of my belief system. Um, I've had to adapt because otherwise I wouldn't be able to do what I do. You know, I can't consistently be on my screens. I have three children. They're off school at the moment, to give you an idea. I've got so many things going on, projects that I'm interested in, lives that I'm trying to change, mentoring, whatever. I can't be at my screens like I used to be when I was on the hedge fund trading floors. So I've built systems that keep me on all the best trade opportunities, but without having to stare at my screens all day. And that's why if you think you have to be at your screens all day, it's, it's wrong. You don't, you can make possibly more money by not being there because it also reduces your emotions, but that's another side story. So all successful people understand that the quickest way to success is to follow a proven blueprint and to leverage other people's knowledge and money. That's why I created the three month associate trader program. So I can see some, we, we do have some of our students on here. Um, at the end, I'm gonna, for those that might be interested in learning how to succeed in the financial markets and are interested in potentially participating in a three month FX trading program, I'd like you to, you know, I'd invite you to stay for the next 10 minutes. I can share that opportunity with you. Of course, you are openly free to choose whether it's right for you or not. And we're here to answer your questions. Um, and then I'll also be sharing with you the opportunity about um, how to qualify for your 50K account. This course is going to show you how to reach your goals and how to accelerate and amplify your current income. So if you want to build this together, hands on, we're positive, we can help you get the results you want. Most of the time, the thing that stops us is fear, false evidence appearing real. So guys, I've done what I said I was gonna do, I've delivered on my promise. Now you have a choice whether you want our help to build a step-by-step -step plan or whether you wanna go it alone. So essentially it's the harder, slower way, and that's absolutely fine as well. Sometimes the harder, slower way is what you can do right now. So it involves trial and error, spending hours trying to test things, YouTubing, trying to figure it all out, or the easier, faster way. So having a proven roadmap, okay, from people that have done what you want to do, people that have been where you are, and essentially a path to succeeding at much faster rate. We can definitely accelerate your learning curve to start getting results like many of our students have. So Anna, uh, Anna Neville, um, it's a really great success story. Here's what she said. I highly recommend LTI as they provide amazing education support and they also back you with trading capital. After speaking with Andy, I knew he could help me achieve my dream of buying my own house in Cyprus. And I now live in a lovely villa that's all been paid for from trading. So she has a daughter. She wanted to go live in Cyprus. She's from Russia, this lady. And She's doing amazingly well, living her dream life in Cyprus. Or Daniel Peters, who said, I never have any doubts about taking a trade or how to manage it. My account is up over 30% in five months. So it's important to note, guys, that this is not a get rich quick opportunity. You know, this is a pathway to learning a skill that can dramatically improve your life. And, so, and sometimes it's hard to appreciate it when you live, you know, a certain way. But essentially, trading successfully in the FX markets can quickly bring you more time to spend with your family, more freedom, and ultimately more money. So is this right for you? Well, this is your kind of checklist. You know, are you somebody that can take direction? Are you patient? 
okay, but yet are able to take decisive action? And can you make trading a new habit? You know, can you commit at least five hours per week to make this a success? And if you really believe that you're committed to doing it, then those are the kind of people we want to work with, okay? Because it's not something for free. It's not something where you can do nothing and expect to get results. There's got to be a cost, okay? Not just financially, but emotionally and, and, and commitment-wise, you need to have that approach. So if you answered yes, then you could be ready to become one of our associate traders. So if you're interested, guys, to learn more about this, and we're just going to share the next five to 10 minutes, and then we'll take your questions, and I'll share with you um, how to get uh, started. So you're going to learn how to identify high probability and high profit trading opportunities. You're going to learn the professional way to protect yourself when entering a trade the key skills you need to learn so that you can consistently make and keep the money that you make as a trader. In your first month, this is the part where you're looking to really understand how the markets work. So, you know, find out through our online training, basically everything that you need related to trading. You'll get access to our live weekly coaching and our private elite traders club to ask any of your questions to accelerate your learning. You'll also get all the skills required to be ready to start trading with a live funded account and start making a side income as fast as possible. Then we expect you to be at this stage on month two. This is where you'll be able to find opportunities, money-making opportunities. You'll also know how to do the correct risk management like a pro. And it's time to create your trading plan. So hopefully by now you've learned enough. You should be at the stage where you know how you're going to trade or at least You've decided that you're going to go with a strategy and you're going to create those rules and you're going to be ready to start implementing it. So month three is basically where you are looking to get funded. So it essentially is a three stage process. So your strategy, understand what it takes to find low risk, high priority trade setups, taking action. So essentially your new knowledge of the markets will give you everything that you need to trade with confidence become a trader get ready to start trading live to get access to an opportunity to trade up to two million dollars so for those that are not new to trading you might have kind of noticed that there's been a kind of new craze around where a lot of people are making a lot of money uh, passing uh, trading challenges and managing large sums of money so when i started out you know this wasn't available to me i was trading a tiny account and now um, you can basically, you know, if you prove yourself, you can be trading 100, 200, 300K um, and making, you know, significant income uh, from trading. And really for me, guys, you know, why learn? Um, I mean, for me, it's a passion. Um, and when I got into this, it was for different reasons. But right now, especially with COVID, with everything that's gone on in the world, business is closing down, the, the world has changed, everything is going online, you need another way. You know, you cannot rely on your nine to five. You know, what happens if your boss tells you, you know, we haven't got any money coming in, you lost your job. You need to master this. You must master something that's going to allow you the opportunity to make money with your own skills, with your own ability. And as we said, with capital borrowed from somebody else, not even borrowed, um, invested into you, which is a, an important distinction. So that's why we're offering a $1 million live funding uh, opportunity for 20 people who are ready for the challenge. And what it looks like, you have a starting account of 50K, but um, you don't have to stay there. So the 50K is your starting account. And once you prove that you can hit a 10% profit target in a month, you move on to stage two, uh, which then means you get 100K. And then stage three, which means you get 200K. And stage four, we, you get a million because you're proving that you can manage um, these, this, this money. And remember, guys, um, this is without an evaluation. So this is live trading money and if you guys may have watched um a show recently um on the bbc about you know whether accounts are really live on these um 
on these trading challenge companies. Uh, the reality is the fact one was that they're all demo accounts because they're expecting people to lose money. This is not a demo account. This is real money that's going into you. This is real live funds. So we're not messing around. We're looking to fund serious people. So what is the way to make money from this program? Well, let's give you a breakdown. So if you had the 50K account, what would an average trader make? Well, typically, guys, an average trader should expect to make between 5 and 10% per month if they risk between 5 and 10% per Per month. Now, um, some people risk less, some people wouldn't risk more. Um, you know, we suggest risking between half a percent and one percent per trade, which in essence should allow you to easily make five percent a month. So if you made five percent, you'd be making two and a half thousand dollars um, minus 50 percent because we we split the profits. You'd be taking one thousand two hundred fifty dollars of profit per month from that account. Now, that's not a huge amount of money, but compared to, you know, trading a, a 500 pound account or a thousand pound account, you know, that is a, a good income. And if you made 10%, of course, that would be two and a half thousand dollars. The important thing is, is that you have zero liability. So for any losses, you also have no exams or assessments and no hidden costs. So, uh, you can start trading with a 50k account as soon as you're ready. Okay, so rather than trying to, um, you know, look to get to a bigger size account, um, you can just stay on 50k. You know, if you're making enough, if you want to just do this as a side income, and you don't want to push yourself to get to the higher levels, you're absolutely welcome to stay there. And it's a significant amount of money, um, you know, for, for most people. To, to earn a nice second lifestyle income. You know, what would an extra 1250 per month do for you? You know, for some, they'd want to be more ambitious than maybe want to make more than that. But for many, that's a, that's a good, that's a good second income for sure that you can use, you know, for whatever you want to do. And our job is to give you the knowledge to do this as soon as possible. And here's how we'll do it together. So with our program, you're going to be getting um, coaching calls every week. Okay, so three months of them with a professional trader. And you're also going to get access to our private club, which basically is on Facebook. And you can use that to ask questions, to connect and network with other fellow traders. Um, included also are our private tools, our trading tools. Um, these are extremely powerful and useful when you know how to use them. Um, and they give me a big advantage. So this is everything that I've worked on and they've saved me more time than, um, than I can even fathom to explain because I used to do everything manually, but since I've built these tools, it's allowed me to able to analyze markets so quickly. Instantly, I can tell you whether I have an opportunity or not, even when I start with a plain chart because I've got the right tools we can draw, you know, I'll share with you, we've got a trend line indicator so that you can get the correct trend line support resistance. So you never have to figure out where they are. We've got the daily trading range. This is look at this, basically this little green and red um, channel there. It tells you with 95% accuracy, the likely high and low of the day so that you know, you're not going to be selling into the likely low of the day or buying the likely high of the day. And you can also build strategies around that, which is one of my favorites. Um, and this is my favorite tool, the Fibonacci. This is literally years and years and years of work to create something as powerful as this, where you literally know where your entries are and where the market is likely to stop. So it's color coded, so it's really simple to follow and you know exactly where to target. Included also, we're going to give you over 80 hours of archived coaching. So literally, if there's any question that's been asked, it's in this coaching. So when you're kind of like got some downtime, you want to go learn extra things, see some of the past coaching. This is amazing value to get that included as a bonus. Uh, we're also going to include our trade journal sheet, which is basically where you log your trades, similar to what I showed you so that you can identify where you are winning, where you're losing, which strategy is working for you and whatever else you want to find out 
your professional trade plan guys this is where you're going to basically um have your uh, a template of the the setups that you're going to be taking so you just need to follow that plan answer the questions and you've got your your first prototype plan and then you can build on that your risk management sheet um this is basically telling you how much you should risk per trade so that you you get the right lot size um very important and the uh, trader assessment that you also get with the uh, program um this is a new addition that we've included now as well but you're also going to get to take my personality profile test um this is where you'll identify which categories as we showed you earlier in the presentation you fall under and how you can uh, effectively trade and i'm also going to be doing a live um a live video with you guys on the trader personality so a live session on zoom where i'm breaking down the type of strategies you should be looking at trading based on your personality so that's going to be really powerful so guys if you're interested you can join the program um, for a value of 12170 pounds for just 1997 pounds we also do have a payment plan so if uh, money's a bit tight and you want to break your payments up of course you save money by choosing option number one but if if you want to go with a payment plan you can pay 747 per month now i do want to stress um that there is also a 14 day money back guarantee and there are no restrictions like what we want you to do is if you are somebody who is you know thinking about this we understand it's a it's a financial commitment it's not you know it's not you know throw away money let's say we know but there has to be an investment you know to get the right support to get the right environment to get the right knowledge uh, but the most important thing is for us the most important thing is for you to feel safe that our goal is to help you get results and if you feel by taking this on that it's not for you and you don't think it's going to work for you or you don't you're not ready for that commitment you have 14 days even after starting the program to let us know and we'll refund your investment okay so i think we couldn't be fairer than that and for the next 48 hours um for 20 people so it's 48 hours or 20 people we cannot do more than 20 because that's the maximum amount of funds that we have available um you're going to be starting off with a fifty thousand dollar account normally this is going to be a 50 50 split however we are also increasing that profit split in your favor to 60 40 if you happen to be one of the first 20 people to join us now um this is really strictly available for 20 people only and it's a real 50 grand account so what we want to do is we want to give you the opportunity to start to recoup your investment back and that's why we're giving you this 50k account for one month you have access to it and you'll be able to make a you know if you make like we said before um five percent or ten percent you would have already recouped a large chunk of your money and if you're doing well and you want to continue with it then you'll have the opportunity also to continue with it which we'll share with you now to be clear as we said this is for 20 people only so if you're interested um all you need to do is if you are on the program you can reach out to us but this is uh, a special one of opportunity um, for people that are not on the program and we're looking to do this as a one off um, as a test run for us um, then there will be a link that's posted right now and you can join if you are one of the first 20 people to join the program once those 20 slots go so there'll be a lot of people uh, we've got a lot of registrants that will be watching the replay um, once they go then essentially that will be closed that door will be closed um you can still do the program but it will be without those bonuses that's so you can still do the program but you won't be getting the uh, the live account 
So here's what other people are saying. So guys, it, there should be a link being posted in the group. Hopefully that's um, that's there. Um, in my second month, uh, this is Dan Tyler. Uh, I made 8% by using what I learned during the program. And my biggest trade so far has been on cable where I made 11% in just about eight hours. I'm now a funded trader trading upwards of 25,000 and my life has totally changed. I have LTI and Andy to thank for everything. So, um, you know, we're going to be increasing Dan's account um, he's doing really, really well. So he's going to be uh, getting a much bigger size account now as well. And Avara here put over the last couple of months, I've been achieving returns of roughly two and a half percent a week. That sets me up to be getting around 10% return a month. LTI is the most honest and transparent program out there simply because there is a track record of success and also track record of successful traders. And Lee Beckett said, since joining the LTI program, I've refined my strategy over a number of weeks. And I'm now seeing returns of up to 12% per week. I now trade the same way that institutions do rather than the usual retail trade approach. And without LTR support, I wouldn't be in the position that I am in now. And Rob Walsh, um, as I showed you a picture earlier, this is a real big success story for us. Um, you can also check us out on Trustpilot if you're new to us so you can see what others are saying there. Um, he put, I took a three month course. This is the same course that we are offering, but he did it in house at that time. Um, with Andy in April 2019, I took a massive risk by leaving my job and investing a lot of money. A year down the line, I now have multiple streams of income, flexibility to trade whenever I was I want, and the knowledge to and practice to only need to spend 20 to 30 minutes a day on the charts. And this course gave me all the tools and knowledge I needed to succeed. And that combined with the endless hours I spent reviewing the charts and trading demo accounts, I'm pleased to be able to share that I'm now trading multiple five-figure accounts have increased my income significantly, had a five-figure month in December, perfectly in time for Christmas, and I'm now on my way to training six-figure accounts and going full-time. He has achieved that, by the way, guys. He's now doing this full-time, and he's trading uh, very large sums of money. So some more uh, testimonials here. So Sal Rodriguez came from Brazil to do our courses, and he was actually, he has already been trading before coming to us. And he put, trading with the LTR rules has finally allowed me to get profitable after so many years of trying by myself. And uh, Thomas Hoyle, London Trading Institute provides the perfect framework for aspiring traders, teaching you real actionable strategies. After doing the career course, I've gone on to become a full-time trader. So results guaranteed, these strategies have already made me wealthy. This won't be buying me a new car or giving me more freedom, but it will potentially change your life and really that's why i want to make this risk free for you guys so if you change your mind 14 days you can have your money returned to you and we prefer it that way if i'm being honest because it means that if you go beyond the 14 days it means that it's it's right for you and it means that we're going to be working together for for months to come to get you to the right place where you're succeeding so your decision, guys, if you are in that position where you are new and you want to learn to trade like a pro in FX and you're interested in the FX markets and you're interested in taking advantage of the opportunity where you can start to trade a real live account today, you have the option to either go back to life as usual um, in quotation marks, have a think about it, or you can be decisive, make a decision and join our program. So you can join now for a total value of 48,114 for just 1997. This is everything you get guys, the Associate Trader Program, 80 hours of bonus coaching videos, three hours of live trading webinar, three months of coaching course, the private members Facebook group, 50,000 live funding, trade journal sheet, 25,000 funding, um, professional trade plan, the risk management sheet, three months pro trader at trial and the trader personality profile. So if you guys follow the link, um, you can join. Um, this is a, um, this is all the information. Um, I'll leave it there. Um, and I'm happy to, to take questions. Um, and yeah, bring Gavin back on. And I think just, just to stop, um, let me, uh, hold on, let's bring in. So the best thing to do, guys, if you are a current student, um, is to reach out to 
uh, one of the guys. So you can reach out to Gavin, to Ben, to Dan, and we can kind of let you know what you can do um, to join uh, to join this uh, to join the funding part. So let me bring Mr. Gavin. Are you there? There he is. You fell asleep, didn't you? <laughs> no. Everybody knows much. you fell asleep, mate. Uh, okay. It always makes me laugh every time we do this. It starts off dark for me, and then now the sun's come up, and then it's getting dark for you. It just it reminds me how far apart we actually are on the opposite ends of the world. We can't, right we can't cuddle, mate. We can't cuddle. Cyber cuddle, mate. Cyber yeah, just cuddle, as good. exactly. It's, it's, quite, it's safer, mate. It's safer. Who knows where you've been and what you might give me. Hey, my missus is next door, mate. Don't say that too loud, thanks. Ah. Um, so anyway, before we digress, guys, uh, we've opened up the Q&A now. So if you've got uh, a question, firstly, thank you very much for staying until the end. So we want to make sure we answer any questions that you've got. Whilst I'm jumping into the questions, the main one that we get asked is, so obviously we do a pips uh, like a pro show, we do a crypto like a pro show. So we do FX and we do cryptos. They've seen you doing both. For someone that is not sure whether they should be doing FX or cryptos, they're new to this world. Which one do you think would be best for them? If they're sat here right now, either on the live and they're thinking about signing up to this, it's a fantastic offer. We're truly excited to be offering this to you for one, but let's make sure we get the right people on board, right? So how does someone know whether they should kind of be doing FX or cryptos? Well, I think um, there's a couple of things. So FX for me is slower, easier in, in that respect. So things don't move as dramatically as they do in cryptos. Um, for a beginner, FX is easier for sure. I definitely don't want to put down F, um, cryptos because I love it. Um, but as a beginner, I think FX is great. The, the one advantage that you have with FX over cryptos is that it's an established market. And the reason why that's important is that, you know, when we're funding people, to be quite frank, we are not funding them to trade cryptos right now. And maybe in a year or even less or two years or whatever, that could be different, maybe even less time, right? But right now we see it as a very volatile asset. And for beginners, um, we trust that anybody trading FX, nothing crazy is going to happen to the account. So if we're giving real money, and as I said before, I want to stress this point, we are not giving you demo money and supposedly copying our trades over to a live account. No, we're giving you real, a live funded account. Um, and so because we're doing that, it's important that we get the right people on board. And so FX is quite predictable. And this, and also what's also great is the tools that I've built are specifically tested with absolute certainty. They work amazingly well for FX. Um, I mean, I, I, I can tell, we, we teach people, right, when this breaks, 80% chance it's going there. When we're at the fade zone, 90% chance it's going there. I know this stuff because I've worked on it for years and years and years and, and hours beyond I could even explain. And obviously crypto isn't there yet. It's just a little newer market for, for me also. So um, I prefer people start with FX and then move on to crypto. Um, some people have done it where they've done both together. And that's possible as well. If you're, a lunatic like you and I, then probably you, we would do both. But um, for those that are a bit more sensible than us, they'd probably choose um, FX and then move on to crypto. And talking of that, uh, Julie, who's one of our crypto students, so she just wants to know, will the existing students be part of the 20? So if I'm understanding this correctly, Julie, you're a crypto student, but you're not doing anything with our FX program. So that's totally different. So if you're, and I know there's a, a number of crypto students that have been making money and the consensus with those guys is that, well, I started with cryptos because I want to make money quicker 
And then now that they know that they can make money, they're making some money, they want to go across to FX. The, so to answer your question, yes, you can apply. You will be one of the 20 because you'll be classed as a new student for FX. Just to clarify that, right, mate? Yeah, so this, so anybody who's only on the crypto course, um, you you obviously need to get the FX education um, to be able to participate in this. So we're looking for people that are willing and ready to commit to FX and to this program. And we believe that with the knowledge and the support and the coaching that they're going to get, um, a lot of the time we just need people just need a helping hand. The capital is going to just be the final kind of piece in the jigsaw for people. And that's kind of a big part of like some of the feedback that we've received is that, you know, I know how to trade, but I'm a little bit demotivated because I don't have enough money. Well, we're solving that problem on this presentation. So anybody who isn't on the FX course, you need to do the FX course. If you are, then you need to um, get in touch with us. You may not um qualify for this round because my feeling is is that this is going to go but anybody on the fx course can um speak to one of the guys and they'll tell you what you need to do to get it on the next round um but we can certainly put you on a waiting list to show you how you can basically take advantage of it but we won't be leaving anybody out basically so anybody who's on our program who has got their trade plan ready who's ready to trade and just need that uh, capital, we'll look after you. So, so don't worry about that. Awesome. Um, and then one question that uh, has come in is, how much capital is required and how much is being risked in the trades earlier that you showed you made like 13 grand, uh, 10 grand? How much capital are you trading with for that? And also yeah. what's your level of risk? Because I think one of the things about your blueprint is, that it's high probability and low risk, which kind of comes from your professional background, whereas some other people kind of teach different things, should we just say. So what's the difference there? And, and can you just break down that question? Really good question, by the way. Well done, um, because you're thinking, you're actually thinking, whoever that was, you're thinking already like a trader. Like you're not thinking, oh, wow, I can make all this. It's like, okay, well, how much am I going to make? Uh, which is important because obviously, you know, if you're, if you're using a £2,000 account, you're not going to make 13 grand on a trade. Uh, my account um, was 400k and, and I risk typically between two and 4k per trade. Um, so I might start with two and build up to four because um, I like to scale into trades. So yeah, uh, essentially max risk per trade would be four. So those trades that you saw there, you're looking at a sort of three, two and a half to one trade, um, which you can get to through the funded route. That's not a big, it is a big account, but, you know, I was trading millions, but I, I trade that account size now because I like to diversify my, you know, I like to, uh, it's it, well, put it this way, I make enough. Um, with that size account. I don't need to make any more. Um, so that's essentially why that's my account size. And I, I could fund it with more. Uh, but for you, you need to figure out what is it that you need from the market. And it's important that you understand it. What is it that you need? And then associate it with what is it that you're getting with that money that you're making? That's a really important distinction. I, I could speak about this for, for hours, but it, obviously that's not the purpose of this presentation, but that's important. So it's like, how much do I need to make? What account do I need to make that? And what am I gonna actually do with that money that I make? How's it gonna change my life? And when you build that puzzle together, things go crazy. Like your life starts to just change. And, and do you just wanna speak on how the market's changed and how the opportunities change just in, in the markets in general. I mean, you had to do things the old school way back in the day, you paid for a monthly desk, you had to put money into that, you had to risk your own money for skin in the game. I think one of the reasons why, even to the start of this year, people were like, well, I'm gonna do crypto first because it's bigger explosive gains and I can make more money quicker if you're trading with a smaller size account. But now to get access, like on a monthly level, like you know, we're giving you the chance to trade with a live 50 grand account for one month. 
like that is game changing. And then obviously you can start to do that on a regular monthly basis, like to just literally have access to that. Do you just want to talk about how that has literally changed the game of this industry? Yeah, I mean, it's in many ways, it's it's so easy now, like, um, but which is good and bad. I think more good. Um, the bad I'd say is that people take for granted that um, you can get this capital and maybe they don't even fully appreciate or take advantage of it. But yeah, when I got started, I, I was paying I was paying 2K a month to just sit on a desk um, to prove myself for six months before I could get some funding. Now we've got people offering 50K accounts. I don't know who they are to, to uh, two people on a presentation, but also, you know, multiple companies, um, you know, giving opportunities to people to prove themselves to get 100K, 200K accounts. So it's like, you know, for about a month or two months worth of work online for a very nominal fee. Like, that's incredible. Like, the opportunity right now is incredible. All you need is to master uh, one methodology, one way of doing things, um, have an edge, know your metric. It's a bit of work. I'm not going to lie. You've got to put a little bit of work. But it, is it worth it? Oh, my word. Is it worth it? I mean, it's life-changing. So it's absolutely worth it. And it's not complicated. I, I want to, some of the stuff I show you might seem complicated. It's not. It's just, and like I'm showing you seven steps ahead. Like you haven't got to, you need to get to step one and step two first. So I'm just showing you a few things that you can do. But if you haven't done the previous steps, then it's going to seem complicated. So yeah, it's an amazing time to, to learn right now. I'd say to answer your question. And then another question um, that's coming, how long does it take to learn the strategy? I mean, just to clarify, it's not just a strategy that's being taught. It's a, it's a combination of risk management, psychology, and strategies from the world of the hedge funds and the institutions, rather than just going, oh, there's a trend line, I'm gonna try and jump into a breakout. So just to clarify that um, for the question, but again, it's a matter of context. How, but what would you, how would you answer that question of how well, long will it take to look, learn? Look, you know, um... I think it, it depends on the person's, there's a number of factors. So we recommend that you get a full understanding of the, of the core things that we're teaching you within a month. So in term, putting it in terms of hours, some people can do it in 15, 20 hours. Most people will need a bit more than that because what is the process for your learning? Firstly, theoretically. And then what we want you to do is not just learn it theoretically. We want you to go and practice. We need you to come and ask the questions on the coaching sessions. So even though in a, in a few weeks, you're going to have a lot of knowledge, we need to refine that knowledge and build it into a system. That's where you have your trade plan template and to build that strategy that you're going to use. So all in all, you know, if you if you work fast, if you're a quick thinker, if you learn fast, you can do it quite quickly. But my personal recommendation: don't rush it. By all means, immerse. By all means, immerse yourself in it, but don't rush. Like immerse, but don't. Oh my God, I need to. You know, I've, I've paid all this money. I need to make all this money back don't join like that's what i'll say to you don't join like don't get into a frenzy like it needs to be you need to be like okay i'm going to make an investment and i'm going to fully commit to this and i'm going to learn and i'm going to get coached and i'm going to ask questions and i'm going to meet other traders and i'm going to master this and i'm going to get my account and I'm start to just get into that mental picture and then you're ready you're ready ready you're rehearsing for it so it's really important that the way you go in is, is, the, is going to impact the way you come out. So, yeah, there's no simple way of answering that question, but just be well, willing to put in some hours um, so you can become a master of this. And obviously, over time, you get you learn even more. 
and I wasn't the same, you know, 15 years ago as I am today. So it's it's just natural. But I can give you the, the foundations that you need, which is important to then build upon. Cool. Thanks a lot for answering that. And then another question we get asked a lot is how does the profit splits work? So let's just clarify that for anyone new that's watching now or on the uh, on the replay. Yeah, so it's it's 60 40. Um, essentially with the uh, 48 hour deal um otherwise if the 48 hours expire and we don't get 20 signups it will go back to 50 50 um but i'm almost sure we'll have our 20 people by uh most people watch the the replay the next day so probably by tomorrow end of day uh, that will probably be closed um at the latest but a couple of days from our experience so it is 60 40 in your favor so you'll be getting 60% versus 40% in our favor. So, um, you know, which is, you know, we're, put, we're taking on the full risk and we're paying you 60%, which I know, um, you know, you've got to remember is that you're not going through an evaluation. Now, for people that want an evaluation, we, we do offer that as well. But why would you want to go through an evaluation when you can get a live account straight away? Yeah, so that's that's why we're it's a no-brainer. Um, and then another question um, about the program is uh, so this is to NK who asked the question earlier. So from the answer in relation to how long to learn the strategies, do you have to come up with your own strategies, or is there a choice so you can choose from one of the existing strategies in the program? Yeah, so we give you the building blocks of different types of strategies. So you'll have like um swing trading strategies how to fade the market and then the idea is is that it's important that it's customized to you so as i said before you know cookie cutter strategies where you literally say i follow this step by step it's not going to generally work for you like that was my experience as well where because it doesn't necessarily suit your style what we what we do is we work with you through the coaching to to basically build a strategy that fits you. So you have to do some work. You have to complete the questions that we give you, the plan. You need to, uh, you need to come to the coaching and we'll help you build a, an approach, a systematic approach that fits your profile as a person, also fits your profile as a, um, in terms of your time that you have available. And that way, the strategy will be fitted around you, customized for you. Um, and that's the key difference because there's a bunch of strategies that we can give. Um, I've got a list of them um, and you're more than welcome to have them ready made. But I promise you, if you don't put that work in to develop, it's not gonna work. And ultimately our job is to get you results. So we're giving you the information that we believe you need to succeed. And that's been our experience of other students as well. Awesome. So look, we're coming, we're over the hour and 30 minute mark. We like to keep it to that 90 minutes. We want to honor your time. We want to honor our time. Um, if there's any other urgent questions, put them in to the, the comment section now and we'll see if we can go through them um, before we bounce. Um, just a message to anybody that's already on the crypto and the FX program. Like Andy said earlier here, we will be looking at a way that we can get you involved um, in this with regards to the ongoing funding options. Um, so it's something that, that you can reach out to us, uh, reach out to Dan um, and myself, and we'll be discussing that with you as we move forwards. Um, so yeah, we're really, really excited to kind of get this new way of funding. It's definitely the fastest way to become a funded trader. Um, if there's anything else that you guys have got as a question, I know there's still a few people on the live. If you're watching this on the replay um, and you've got some questions, then just shoot us an email at info at londontradinginstitute.com. Uh, one of the team will pick that up and we'll be able to get that back to you. Like we say, this offer is valid for the next 48 hours. Um, we'll be generous and say, look, from when the, the recording goes out. So we'll have a little bit of leeway on the 48 hours, but not much it's going to be a few hours until the recording gets sent out. So that's what we're talking about. So 48 hours plus a little bit of wiggle room, 
or the first 20 students to come on board with this offer. Um, I've posted the link if you want to take action now, um, then that's great. Feel free to do so. I'll post the link again. So just make sure that you can see that. And I think, I think that's it for now, unless there's anything else that you want to say, mate. No, that's uh, all really for me. Um, it's been a pleasure as always to see you. And, I think uh, you're talking to everyone else, right? Not me on this. No, so. I'm talking to you personally. <laughs> <laughs> mate, you need to get some sleep. You're delirious if you're sleeping. Mate, uh, honestly, I I'm not sleeping at all. No, I mean, look, you know, the the reality is, is that, you know, people will will think, you know, is this for me? Is this for real? I don't know. And I get it. I've been in that position as well. And I guess that that's why we offer the money back guarantee as well. So mm. obviously, if you decide that it's not for you, we don't, you know, there's no kind of, um, you know, we don't make you jump through hoops. We just simply return your money. And we thank you for, for trying us. Um, the only thing we ask from you is that, you know, if you're going to commit, commit, commit and go for it. And then if you realize it's not for you, that's fine. But really commit in your head because that's going to make a really big difference. And it will, it will, you know, if you, as I said before, if you work at this and you commit to us, we'll commit to you. I've been where you are. I've had an amazing career and I'm still having an amazing career as an FX trader. This is what I make as my income. You can ask Gavin. I don't take anything from this company. I make more money from trading. That's what I live on. So, and I've done it at the highest possible level that you could get to. You know, working for, for these big JP Morgans, bar cap, hedge funds, it's not easy to get into that space. You need to be good. And I now want to share my knowledge with the right people so if you feel like that's you if you feel like you you resonate with me the way we work the kind of person we're looking for we'd love you to join us if it's not for you thank you for for being here with us we appreciate your honesty as well um but you know hopefully we'd love to work with the right kind of person that's ready to make a big change because that's what we're that's what we're in this game for we're not in this game to make small changes. We want to have an impact. We want to make an impact. That's our mission, to change lives. And hopefully we'll see you on board and join our group. And uh, thank you again. Good night, good evening, good afternoon. And we'll wish you the best. Awesome. So that's it. Thank you very much, Andy. I know there's been a lot of information here. Maybe watch the replay. If you're watching the replay, just take time to go through all of this it can get confusing with everything that's being offered at you, but just to clarify the offer. So 48 hours, all the first 20 people to get the one month of a $50,000 life funded account for you to trade with when you're ready. You tell us when you're ready. We'll decide it as a team will help you uh, to make sure you can start making some actual money back um, and you'll get a 60-40 split. So you'll take 60% of any profits that are made. So on a 5%, uh, if you made 5% on that live funded account in your first month, that would equate to $1,500, uh, which is a great, great start um, for you on your trading journey. So the first 20 people or 48 hours, that is that offer. Just to clarify, go through everything else on the list of everything that you get in the program. And we look forward to working with you guys. If you've got any more questions on a deeper level, uh, email us info at LondonTradingInstitute.com or reach out inside the Facebook group, the Crypto and FX Traders Club, and we'll make sure to get back to you over the next, um, well, as soon as you post the question, but so that you've got time to digest all the information within the next 48 hours. So Andy, thanks a lot for your time. Guys, thank you very much for watching this either live or on the replay. Uh, we are going to bounce and we look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care, guys. See you soon. See ya. Bye-bye.